everyone! Welcome to my channel! Happy 1st of March! For today's video I'm going to be making Martenitsi, which is a traditional Bulgarian thing. It is about celebrating spring and making sure your family stays healthy and nothing bad happens to them. So basically if you don't make Martenitsi for 10 people uh, by the 1st of March everyone's gonna die. But no, I'm kidding, they're not gonna die, probably, I don't know, I've always worn one, just in case, you know, it's always good to be prepared. Um, but this is something that was traditionally given by the eldest uh, woman in the family to all the children so that they would stay healthy and out of trouble kind of thing. Um, then it kind of transitioned and now it's everyone giving stuff to everyone. It's a huge Bulgarian celebration and unfortunately because I live in the UK now I can't make it anymore and what I get is I get my mom to send me some from Bulgaria and I don't send them any ever. <laughs> but this year I decided I could actually make some and send them some Martinici because I love them, I want them to be healthy, I definitely don't want them to die. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you and let's get on with it. Welcome to Crafty History! 1st of March is the day when we, Bulgarians, celebrate Baba Marta. Romanians and I think Croatians celebrate an alternative version of this too. Baba Marta, or Granny March, is a mythical figure who brings with her the end of winter and the beginning of spring. On this day, we exchange Martinici and keep wearing them until spring comes. So, until we see a blossoming tree or a bird that's migrated back, like a stork. Well, these rules have been there for years, but let me tell you, with global warming and whatever else, figuring out when to take your Martinici off has gotten incredibly confusing. So nowadays, people tend to wear them until spring officially begins, which this year is on the 20th of March. I know you look at all I'm doing with my hands right now and thinking, but what are those things? Martinici. Well, they are red and white colored bands or figurines or dolls or something that symbolize health and happiness and a lucky charm against evil spirits, supposedly. Evil spirits could not be found to confirm this. Martinici are given away to friends and family and are worn on the wrists or on clothes. In some small villages people decorate their houses and farm and pet animals too. Overall, the tradition of giving friends red and white interwoven strings is a reminder that spring is near. A lot of western people view red and white as a traditionally Christmas color combination. For me and for lots of Bulgarians this is not true. Although the meaning of those colors has changed somewhat, they remain to roughly mean purity and health. Those two colors are both represented on our national flag and the color green, the third color, is often represented in modern designs of Martinity as well. The white color first symbolized man. Later, under the influence of Christian mythology, it began to indicate integrity and virginity. Red represents the woman and health. It is a sign of blood, conception and birth. In ancient times though, Women's wedding dresses were red, not white. And this is true to this day in most Asian, well, East Asian countries, showing that being half a world apart means little to the human mind and how it perceives color. Blood is red in all of us folks, and if this isn't to show you that racism is meaningless, I don't know what will. So everyone, sorry to break out craft history time, but I just realized I don't have a needle. I don't have a needle big enough for what I wanted to do, which means we'll have to make do with these uh, forceps, tweezers, tweezers. I used to feed my fish with them, uh, but then he died, so now I can use them for something else. Yeah. The Martinica comes in all shapes and sizes, from massive figures to strings on a newborn's arm. School-age children usually compete who will get the most. Here is a picture of what my arm would typically look like towards the end of 1st of March after all exchanges were made. I have to admit I hated showering in March, 
taking off all of them and putting them back on was a drag. But it was also a medal of social prowess, so couldn't be avoided, right? And moving on, who is Baba Marta? Why do we celebrate her? Well, short answer is, we don't. We try to appease her, to make her happy basically, not to celebrate her. Baba Marta is believed to be a feisty lady who always seems to be grudging at her two brothers, Malak Sechko and Gulam Sechko, or January and February, while the sun only comes out when she smiles. She is constantly unhappy with them. In different tales they drink her wine or do all sorts of mischief. She gets really angry and as a result the weather breaks. In the olden days agriculture was the main source of food and income for the people, so bad weather in spring could ruin a year's worth of crops. It's actually a very scary prospect, especially when it's so easily prevented with the Martinica on your chest, right? Again, supposedly. Baba Marta could not be reached to confirm or deny this. There is a lot of folklore featuring this mysterious old lady. One tale says that on the day she does her pre-spring cleaning and shakes her mattress for the last time before the next winter, all the feathers that come out of it pour on earth like snow, and that's the last snow of the year. Well, again, that is when global warming was not a thing. Another tells the story of an old lady who took her goats out in the mountain. It was the end of March, the very last days of the month. The old lady was counting on Baba Marta for blessing her with good weather. She is as ancient as I am, the old lady thought to herself, and she'll have mercy. Baba Marta, however, got offended for being called old. She got really mad and asked her brother April to lend her a few days to teach the woman a lesson and got them. These days are what we Bulgarians call borrow days. Baba Marta set free all the blizzards and snowstorms and the old lady and her goats were frozen. Then again, supposedly, they became a pile of stones from which healing water started running. Which is not really relevant to the story, but I guess that's a good ending. Here you can see I'm finishing off my Martiniti, which will become a lot more presentable when I attach the beautiful packaging I have in mind. What you see are not the only variants of Martiniti. The twined red and white can also be necklaces, tassels, pompons, balls, squares, human or animal figures, whatever you like. Over the past several decades, the tradition has been innovated by attaching all kinds of representations and symbols made out of wood, leather, ceramics, metal, or basically anything you can imagine. I hope you like this little tidbit about my culture and my favorite Bulgarian holiday, Baba Marta. Crafty history lesson over. Well, this is it for this video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, please comment and say something nice, preferably. And hit the bell icon to get notified for my next video, which will hopefully be in the next week. If not, it's not because I've given up on YouTube again, it's because I'm taking things slow and I'm doing things as I enjoy doing them. As I've said in my previous video, you should enjoy what you're doing. Life is far too short to be doing stuff just because and to then be regretting it. Please look at my Instagram and Twitter and share your photos if you do have Martinity, if you do have the Romanian or whatever other equivalents. Heck, just show me some red and white stuff you have. Um, I love to see it. You can see I'm not wearing anything. That is because it's actually bad luck to wear anything before 1st of March. And although I'm not very superstitious, I prefer not to challenge fate. And as I'm recording this in advance, it's not yet 1st of March, but I assure you, I will be wearing them on 1st of March and you will see photos, so follow me on Instagram for pictures of actual beautiful Martinici. From my family, čestita baba Marta, da ste živi i zdravi, nadjam se da vi hrese tva klipče, babo tva je specialno za teb, nadjam se da si spočeo Martinicita na vreme i šte se vidim skoro.